my fire, the one desire to love the city. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in to another program on Toward a Quality of Life. I'm pleased to be with you here this evening with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight younger persons from pretty much, I believe, the South Boston area of Boston. Uh, most of them go to public school, two of them go to a private school on Thompson Island, and one goes to a Catholic school. And they range in grades from grade three to seven. So, thank you very much for coming on the show, everybody. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Yes. And uh, before the show, we were talking about some of your, before, before the show began, some of your favorite things. I know sports are your favorite things. By the way, while we're on the subject of sports, is, uh, do you think that sports can be too much? Can, can people go too much into sports? Katie, you're shaking your head. Yeah. Why? What do you mean? Well, they like they can hang posters all over their room and go nuts about sports. Really? Um, don't people your age usually go nuts about something or other? Yeah. And hang posters all over their room? Mackenzie. Um, I know this kid named Rob Alero, and um, he he plays a lot of sports, and he's like my friend, and he doesn't really spend a lot of time with me anymore. He, he, because he plays so many sports. Yeah, and he's into it. I like. Pretty much a lot of sports too, but I don't play all of them. Are you telling me it's kind of nice to have friendships and just spend some time being with people, yeah. not just always playing sports? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Jojo? Um, yeah, I like what I think is you play the game to play it, you don't play it to live it. I mean, you play to have fun, not to be obsessed over it. Mm -hmm. You should have a life next to sports, you know, not like sports, sports all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. like, Did you figure that out yourself? Yeah, when I played, when I played hockey, um, I was on an organized team from year seven to ten, and I, I, you know, when I started playing it, I just played it because I loved the sport. I loved hockey. Hockey was, you know, it was awesome. I watched it with my father. I played it in the schoolyard, and then when I hit nine or ten, I really got into it. You know, it was, it wasn't much of having fun anymore. It was kind of like seeing if you could check or compete or score more than someone else and then I ended up quitting organized sports and, and playing in the schoolyard because there's less competition. Yes. Um, I think people get too into sports that they skip school. Skip school? If they get too into sports. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, what are they doing when they're skipping school? Practicing? Probably practicing, having games, and after the games they probably skip school or either come in late. What's your idea of the reason for being so involved in sports? Why do you think it gets that intense? Because people want to get a good scholarship. Because people want to go have dreams to go to the NBA, the NHL, uh -huh. and Major League of Baseball. Uh -huh. So they play so much that they want to <coughs> get into all of them and skip school. Sometimes. And it's kind of like we... We really make a big deal of being in the NBA. It's like it's like an important thing to be. Yes. Well, um, there's this kid in my um, school, Willie, and he plays a lot of basketball at recess. And there's like playing a lot of sports. It's, it's like living living sports. Like you could hang a lot of posters up in your room of like basketball, lacrosse, soccer, and I'm just I just like basketball and stuff. You like basketball. Do you play it? Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, great. So uh, you're, you're, you're probably involved in that as much as any of the guys might be involved in it. Yeah. Kind sometimes, of? Yeah. Sometimes I practice out in my backyard. Uh-huh. Nothing serious about it. Uh-huh. I don't have posters of it. So. You don't have posters of no, it? No, I just... Steven? Um, if, if it's only basketball, if you lose it, it ain't nothing serious. It ain't like you're going to win a thousand dollars or anything. Um, like Michael Jordan, he's all fa famous and stuff because he's on the Chicago Bulls and he always like gets the trophies because he does the dunks. And I, get, I think he gets too much into basketball. 
basketball. You think he's too much into basketball? Yeah. Is Michael too much into basketball? Sometimes. sometimes. Michael Jordan? Yeah, but yeah. Some, some, some basketball players do get into it. Like, they make a good dunk or make a by luck so that they go take a nutty. So that's like they're on, on stage or something. They're sitting there screaming, ah, because they made a good dunk. Uh-huh. Or because they could have just saved the game. It's weird. Uh-huh. There's, like, no reason for that. Uh-huh. But... So you, you're wondering why did somebody get so carried away because they made a good dunk? Yeah. yeah. So so maybe maybe it's all the pressure we're putting on people that we we cheer for them and we spend lots of money on it and everybody wants to be that thing that very few people can be, right? <coughs> but there's a lot of other things to be, isn't there? And a lot of other things to do. But do you play any sports at all, Katie? No. None. What do you do to move your body? Do you dance? Do you do anything that gives you some exercise? I play in the schoolyard. You play in the schoolyard? What What kind of things do you play in the schoolyard? All I do is walk around. Ooh. You walk around. Okay. <clears throat> well, you're nice and thin right now, huh? Now, I noticed some of you are differing weights. Some of you are thin and some of you are not so thin. Do you ever think about that? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Gabby. Yeah, but the person I, the way you look, it doesn't matter. It's who you are inside, know how you look outside. Mm -hmm. So you don't think about the food you're eating or anything like that? Sometimes, but but it's, it's more important to think think of you inside than outside. Uh -huh. and, it, and is that how it goes at the school? Is that how things work out at school as well? Yep. Because somebody was telling me that story about an overweight person or something who took a gun. Was it you, Kendra, that yeah. told? What's that story? Well, I had him in his, before the um, Colorado shooting. Mm -hmm. There was this kid that was overweight, and um, he... He, his father had a gun for safety, and so the day, like the next day, he took the gun out and put it in his book bag. And in the beginning of the day, he took the gun out and he shot himself in the front of the class. He said, um, <coughs> "People make fun of me because I'm overweight," and then he just shot himself. What do you think? What do people think? Of it? What do you think of that, Jojo? Um, I know. For a 12-year-old, I'm a mini-sized thing. I'm short. I'm like the shortest thing in my whole school. Um, and, but I still, I picture it this way. I could be the smallest kid in the school, but I could still do big things. You know, I don't have to be uh, five foot three. Just to, I just be myself, you know. If, if, I'm, if people think they have a problem with me being skinny and stuff, well, that's, that's their thoughts. I'm who I am. I'm JoJo, you know. No one else decides who I am. No. Do your do your parents talk to you about that at all? Um, well, I at the beginning of the school year last year when I was new, people ranked on me and they called me um, skinny mini, right? But my dad told me, he said, um, he said, yeah, don't listen to people like them. You know, they just wishing that they were small and skinny, right? But I, I said, yeah, he's just trying to make me feel better. But then the next day in school, people were doing that again. You know, there's one kid, and he said, oh, leave him alone, watch him grow up and be tall and all these. You know, so that kind of made me feel good, and I said, and I said, hey, it's either going to happen or it's not. I can't, I can't control it, and I shouldn't feel bad about myself. I should be proud, because I'm joking. Okay, and Kenzie, what, what did you want to say? There's a lot of kids um, in my class, the name's Charles Butler, and Joe, but he's in seventh. Uh, even though they're pretty small, I've seen them jump higher than some tall kids. Do you have parents that talk to you about things, or how does that work? You ever talk things over with your parents? <coughs> Anything at all? Yeah. What 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 might you talk to them about? Like what what kind of foods give you energy? <coughs> they talk to you about that. What else? Um, exercise and school. Do you have brothers and sisters? She's You're kidding. Oh. And we have another brother sister pair here, don't we? Yeah. And a brother brother. Brother brother, brother, brother sister. sister. Oh. Yeah. All right. So we have you three raise your hands who are related. Okay, then you two raise your hands who are related. And then, and then you two raise your hands who are related. And, and then we're, we're and cousins. All of us are cousins. We like, consider each other's brothers and sisters. Yeah. yeah, you think of each other's We are very close. We're very close. Yeah. Uh -huh. A it's big, nice family. Uh-huh. Yes. Now, yeah. <coughs> Some of us in trouble, we go, we go and help them like that. How'd you get that way? We just uh, We just friends. We always hang around together and everything. Yeah. 
Sometimes we fight and everything. What do you, what do you fight about? <clears throat> Sometimes we like stuff and some people don't. Like family stuff. Family. We don't agree on each yeah. other. Yeah. What might you not agree mother. on? <clears throat> okay. You can't remember? Like things to like things to play. You don't agree? Yeah, like so, like sometimes like like I'd want to play football, Robert and Joe and Nikki and Mac would want to play baseball, or someone would want to play <coughs> hockey or soccer okay. or basketball or something, and not all of us would agree on it, and then <laughs> there goes the sports revolution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what kind of fight do you have? Like what we argue, we'll argue, argue. argue. So we'll argue yeah. for about five ten minutes, and occasionally and that is fight. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Usually, but then we get over usually like that, that, that kind of gets, usually the, the arguments are the ones that get more out of hand in the fist fights. If there's a fist fight, um, we have like a way, it's been like our kind of like model, it's all kind of like thing that we do since we all met each other. If like someone's um, it's like, all right, say me and Vic had a fist fight, it was like Mac or, and Nick would kind of like keep, keep each other, keep me and Vic away from each other for at least a couple hours just to cool down and then we just talk it over like later towards, you know. And uh, it's not only the sports stuff, because there's some kids in our neighborhood, I won't mention names, but there are some kids that, that just look for trouble, they like to see fights, and they just come and they say, oh, but I heard him say about, you know, you know, stuff like that, family issues. I mean, I don't think any of us here put up with like the mama jokes and stuff. And that, you know. There are mama jokes? Yep. Yeah, when yeah. people make fun oh, yeah. of your mother. You're kidding! No, that sends us off. Can I tell Mackenzie? Um, in our neighborhood, there is a lot of trouble, but usually, me, Joe, Victor, Nikki, we usually go out together. Yeah. If someone made fun of someone, we would stick up for that person. The big rubbish. Yeah, we would just tell other people about something. We wouldn't let them get in our way. There's a lot of trouble in your neighborhood. Yeah. Kendra, you've been raising your hand, so. Well, like, when we, sometimes, <coughs> about the agreeing things, sometimes we don't agree on what we want to play, Yeah. what we want to do, where we want to go. Some, sometimes we just want to go different places, so some people leave. And then they come back, and then we play what they want to play. Who, who agrees that there's trouble in the neighborhood? Anonymous. Oh boy. A trust. What, teenagers. Steven, what kind teenagers? What uh, kind of trouble in the neighborhood? Oh, like my teenagers are always hanging around the um corner and I just don't like it because like when <coughs> someone can get hurt and like if they get hurt they should like blame themselves because they shouldn't be having all drugs and everything. Kendra? Well, there was last year. Um, I didn't say across the street. Um, there was this, there was this, um, these teenagers that were hanging in the corner. And there was the other teenagers that heard things about them, that they were talking about their sisters and like calling them fat and stuff. So one of the teenagers got out of the car and um, punched <coughs> and bit one of the kids out. They like, punched him, and then he fell on this block and scraped his head and he was out cold. Um, one time when me, Mac, and, <coughs> and Victor sometimes <coughs> hang around talking on the corner, some teenagers come out with, like, they're drunk, or they have matches, and they, they either play with them around us, so we walk away, and I think that police should try to prevent from hanging on corners, and police do something about it. With the, with the police, though, that's what they're trying to do. They have, um, <coughs> they have, um, a bunch of, um, patrol cars coming around, um, checking the neighborhood to see if the teenagers are starting trouble. Because, like, there was one time, with, um, on NN6, that's, like, basically where all the teenagers, not all the te teenagers, but most of the teenagers hang out down there. What's the name of the corner? NN6. NN6? Uh -huh. And, um, they, they start trouble with the women that work in the store, that the store is on NN6, they call it the island store, and they always start trouble with the women in there. Like, they'll sit there, they won't, like, when they want cigarettes, they won't leave until they get it. Without paying for it? Or no. you mean they're not of age? They, they demand to have the cigarettes? Yeah. 
Uh huh. So do they get them? Uh, well, sometimes, but sometimes they don't. They just because call people cops. are scared, uh -huh. and so they give it to them. Yeah. So they demand the cigarettes. Katie. Um, my brother Joe. He told me about these kids called N and Six, <coughs> and he said that they go after people with bats, and I don't think that's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Guns. Jojo? Um, what my sister said, relating on that. Um, I don't know, I don't know the exact, exact details, but my, my mother told me, she, I'm the one that goes up to store for the family a lot, like to get milk and bread and stuff. And, um, my mother told me, like, if I ever go up at nighttime to watch, watch out for, like, the alleyways and stuff, because uh, a couple years ago, a kid got, um, jumped, and they beat his head in with the bat, and they took all of his stuff, and they, like, I don't know what, what they did, but they beat him up so bad he had to go to the hospital. And um, a couple a couple months ago, the kids got chased by the cops, N6, two guys from N6, and, and they ran in my alleyway, and my dad, who was a cop, he had to go down and get them. And it was really scary because they had a knife like this big, and uh, my mother was shining a flashlight in my yacht, she was pitch black, and I was like, oh my gosh, my dad's gonna get hurt. And it, it's, it's a danger to all of us, because Sometimes we're just trying to go up to the corner store to get like drinks because we're thirsty, and we can't go in because you're all mobbed around the, the corner. We don't want to. We don't want that. We don't want to get. Wouldn't in. you want to see policemen walking the street? Wouldn't that be good to have, have policemen that. hanging around we knowing your name? We, yeah, we we have a lot of that. Like there's this one guy, Kyle. He, yeah, he's cool. He, yeah, he hangs out at the. He hangs out. He's there. a policeman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. hangs out there to watch over the store to make sure the teenagers aren't starting any trouble with the woman that worked there. And um, he's pretty nice. He he knows uh, almost every every person that goes there. He's friendly. My dad. Yeah. And um, and like sometimes <coughs> men that are friends with the women there, they come out and they help them stock up, and they help them take care of the teenagers that come into that trouble. Mac. Um. Well, about the trouble. Um, there was a a stabbing three days. I think it was on Sunday. I mean Monday. Monday. And um. Monday. It was right next to Joe's house, not even a house away. Ugh. And um, they, a girl and a guy were getting in a fight. Then the um, girl started wanting to stab the guy, so she tried to. When she um, slid herself, and like the cops were all coming, and there was a lot of cops. And, and from now on, there's been so many cops around our neighborhood, and they've been everywhere watching the teenagers, watching everybody, watching the corner stores. <coughs> and if, it, if teenagers hanging on corners, they would throw them off right away. So where can the teenagers go? Down um, the beach. They go to the beach area? What about in the winter time? They hang on the ollie. The ollie. What's the ollie? Um, it's, it's the um, ollie it's with neighborhood, neighborhood yeah. house where all the kids, like if they want to get into sports activities and art activities, they can go down there. and. Um, the girls are always shifting around, and it's really bad. It's really bad. They either gotta get rid of the teenagers, or something bad gonna happen because it's more and more. Kendra, um, near my house on 016, there's always a police car. Started, um, started from when Max said about the stabbing um, near Joe's house. Well, there been a teen, there been cops, a girl and a guy, caught. And um, they've been in their car on Owen Six watching, and there was a te there was like three teenagers. And they told them to get off right away, and they went like um, across the street where the other corner is. Nikki, um, sometimes you know, <coughs> trouble. Teenagers buy firecrackers, whistles, <coughs> Roman candles, cherry bombs, cherry bombs that that are huge noises. They um, buy them from stores <coughs> like hay markets. And they buy a brick, which is about 50, and um, they sell them to other people and then go buy more and sell them to more people. And kids, seven and up, buy, um, buy them, light them, give them to people. Um, and most of the time, um, some of the teenagers do them in front of houses and at cars. So sometimes, um, when we see them, we just rush up a, rush up, um, a house or a ha hallway. Katie? Like what Nikki was saying, like, during the summer, they would whip firecrackers at my window. Like, 
Um, so what do you do when firecrackers are whipped at your window? I move to a different bed. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Uh, when my sister's like away, I moved back up onto my bed. Because I get scared. So you kind of have some fear that you have to walk around with all the time. <coughs> Does everybody here have fear that you have to walk mm -hmm. around with? Yeah. yeah. Oh, a lot. Like they, a lot of kids don't like us. So. Kids don't like you sometimes, mm -hmm. Mac. Um, it's pretty fun to watch real fireworks went off by people, but some some days a lot of things are scary in our neighborhood. Not many people pull guns or anything, but it's fun in our neighborhood. We have a lot of activities and stuff. It would be nicer if the teenagers. When they hang out and stuff, mm -hmm. make a lot of noise. Kendra? Um, well, like, there's the teenagers, they mostly do it down the beach, but one time, well, a couple of times, I was down where the old Phoenix gas station was with Victor, Gabby, Mickey, and Stevie, and Joe, and everyone. And, um, they, we heard a big, big, huge, like, noise. Um, and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a big cannon, and I got scared, and I ran home. You never found out what it was, but it was a, It was a firework, but I didn't think it was real loud. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Steven? Um, what Max said? Yeah. Um, like, there's all kids got in trouble. His brother, Brandon? Yeah. He got in a fight with this kid named Tommy Allen, and Brandon said he put his, um, head, like, through a fence or something. They got in their fence, and then um, when he when um like he was under the fence, like a day after, he like told Mac, and then Mac told like me, and then I told Nikki. Lots of rumors. Mm-hmm. 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 Listen, what do you guys think about um, these games where people learn how to explode and kill and all that? What do you think, Katie? That's bad. You think it's bad? Mac? Um, I was just talking about this the other day in school, and um, the, a long time ago there was this game called Nintendo, well, a system for Nintendo, and it's a duck hunting game, and you shoot ducks, and it has a real gun in its hand, and um, you just keep shooting things, and I think people are getting the motion of uh-huh. Did, did you like to play that game? It was okay. Because it was pretty fun. Like, you uh -huh. aim at a TV. Uh-huh. But it's not pretty fun to hold a, a gun. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nikki? Um, like what Max said, um, some g on Game Boy, yeah. the, some people bring them to school and they, um, they have killing games like Mortal Kombat that has like blood and I think people are getting motions of blood in their mind that they want to kill somebody or if or they want to um murder or do something like that because the games like they, they hypnotize people like when they play it the they, like the force go up to their fingers to their brain and they get the feeling. In other words, the practice becomes something that gets in your nerves, and your nerves is connected to your whole body, and it becomes you. Yeah. Jojo? Um, in school, we, in me and Max school, there was, we have a thing called Tag Day where, you know, you can wear whatever you want if you buy a ticket. And it was a suggestion that we should go paintballing with the money that we earn. What is paintballing, by the way? It's um, a gun that you have paint balls of paint like high balls yeah like and, like i would like say i'd shoot nikki it would splat all over them and it, it kind of hurts for a second it stings you right yeah, it can even knock like you that. to the ground right yeah. and and does it leave paint on you yeah mm -hmm. well, that's why you wear like suits and a mask and stuff but, <gasps> what um, a crazy yeah. game for kids Every, yeah everybody likes it so they're like oh yeah let's go paintball you know how like yeah nikki, right and then um my my headmaster stood up and he's like i'm gonna tell you one thing right now Half week ago, two students went into their school and shot and killed 18 people, including one teacher. I can tell you this right now, we ain't going paintball. You can play the games at home, 
and you know you can shoot the gun like Silent Hill. It's like someone's actually right beside you and you're like shooting at them. That's a game? It's a game it's called Silent Hill and it's like you're actually seeing the person. It's really strange. And then um, and then he said, you play these video games and as Nikki said, it gets into you, right? And then he said, he said, Marines that have a hard time shooting their guns at other people, they have to go do these like uh, uh, simulator. Yeah, mm -hmm. simulators to uh, get that into them that they can kill. And he's like, you know, you guys are a bunch of good students. I don't ever want to see what happened in Columbine happen here. And I can tell you we playing paintball. Gabby? Sometimes the games <coughs> gets into your brain and everything, and then you want to go go out and do this thing. Some You could get killed and even kill yourself and kill other people. Because sometimes when you see how people act, you might feel like doing something to them. Yep. And, and you might feel sad sometimes. Mackenzie? Um, the violence in the games makes people think like, whoa, that's cool graphics and stuff. And then when they go outside and they see people getting hurt and stuff, and they're bleeding, then they're probably not going to help them say, whoa, that's a real fight. And they're not going to help their friends or anything out. So the person's just standing there dying or getting really bad. Because they already learned that you shoot someone and just let them die. Yeah. They learned that. Kendra? Well, um, there is this game, Laser Tag. Never heard of it. <clears throat> well, it's a game Well, you use a gun. It's a fake gun, and it's a laser on it. And they have, like, these little um, Vest. vests that have little circles Light. on them, like lights. And you try to shoot at them, and that can get, and that can, really <clears throat> help you get to um the habit yeah the habit of shooting at people nikki um what i just want to say is um <clears throat> fake blood because when they sell fake blood they use it and sometimes kids play around and fake they cut themselves and <clears throat> they have all the fake blood on their arms and sometimes their parents digest that into their stomachs and get that feeling when they really get hurt or or get beat up that sometimes they, the parents think they might be joking <clears throat> and they, the parents won't do nothing until they really know what happened. Why, why do kids make so much fun of life, of blood and what, Mac? <clears throat> um, some of the... Well, can I say something about the video? Sure. Well, some of the games are really fun, like laser tag. It's like an activity, and you go around just shooting people with a laser. And if you get hit, you're up. And in real life, if you get hit, you're dead. <coughs> and it's, it's pretty not funny it, in real life. And people just think it's so fun because you learn it so much in video games, on magazines, or some wrestling shirts sometimes. They just have like blood and everything all over the place. And why is blood fun? It's not really fun, but um, in wrestling, there's a lot of blood, and uh, to some people, it's pretty cool to watch because it's a lot of good moves and stuff and people. And I, me personally, I don't think blood is pretty fun to see because you know a person's gonna get hurt. Jojo, oh. Uh, what Max said, what I think he's really trying to say is, blood draws attention. Um, Good point. Like Good know, point. It could be negative attention, it could be positive attention. Um, like in wrestling, there's a, a, a guy, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and he's always like um, showing like they have t-shirts of him like going, ah, with like blood on his face. Mm -hmm. And he does that to get attention too. Like, Blood will cause you know, attention. To, That's to right. Get the audience to look at him. Mm -hmm. And um, I know I I can I can kind of see where he's where Mac is going because right for Fool's Day I took a um a frying pan and, and got like the fake the fake blood and made the paint, put it on and I went like that and all the blood was like on my face and the teacher she picked up the phone and was about to call in for stitches. She thought it was real. And um, the reason that kids do that what he said was for attention. So it's kind of like. Oh, did you hear about Joe Nee? Or like, did you hear about Mac Ross? Yeah, he got hit in the head and he was bleeding, but he survived that. He's cool. Try to like draw attention. Mm-hmm. But also how people can survive bad things happening to them too. Yes.
because bad things are happening. Kendra? Well, <clears throat> when... It's like when people shoot you, people think you will die, but you could die. You could really get injured, and like a few days, a few hours, a few days later, you could really die. Even if you get shot, it's no good for you. Even if you live, it's just always not going to be healthy to get shot because then you have a wound and then you're going to have some problems later on. Even if you heal up, you're going to have problems with where you've been you shot. Might, you, might have, you might have dreams of being a policeman trying to shoot people just because you like guns, just because you're obsessed with guns killing. Mm -hmm. well, it's not really fun because if I ever held a gun, I would be shaking and I would definitely just put it down. I'm afraid of guns. Katie? Well, like Dave and I said, that blood draws attention. Well, these kids in my classroom, every time, like, we have computers, they draw pictures with, like, skulls, and they put, like, blood all over it, and they print them, and they show them to all their friends, and everyone thinks they're all cool, but it's really not funny. They, like, draw people with blood all over them. Katie. Steven? Um, like my brother said, um, even if a bullet doesn't hurt you, it could, like, really wound you because the heat coming by, it could, like, oh, it's make you get absolutely. Hot. Yeah, nothing to fool around with, Mac. And when, when you do get hit, it's not, it might not hurt, but you're going to remember it all your life, and you're never going to forget it, and it's going to It'll hurt. Yeah. Even if it grazes the skin, it's going to hurt. Yeah. I mean, we can't be having injuries to ourselves if we can prevent them. It'll, well, some guns, I mean, like, um, say a BB gun hits you and skins you, it's going to hurt, but it might not hurt as bad as if one goes through your skin. And it's just going to be like you're going to remember it, and it's going to hurt way more. Do you think people care, though, if other people get hurt? Some, if they're friends or something. Uh -huh. Sometimes you can care. But on um, like traffic jams and people get hurt, I've seen, I've seen a lot of people get out of their cars and start helping. <coughs> My mother helped people once. Um, there was a cut like I think it was last year. I forget who it was, but it was uh, um on Eminem. <coughs> there was there was these people. They had BB guns, and they were shooting them around. And one person got hit in the neck. And, um, and they, they were rushed <coughs> to the hospital, they, and um, we never found out who it was, but they said it was a bunch of kids that had the BB gun, and they were shooting it around, around in the streets, and there was this guy, he was jogging down the street, and he got hit in the neck. Mm -hmm. Katie? Well, my friend, my friend, he, he had brought, like, two of those cap guns to the park, and there was this really small boy, like, oh, can I see? And they were, like, shooting it everywhere. And it was like a little boy, about like four or five. And they write on music. Yeah, well, people like guns. Boys like guns, don't they? They really like guns when they see them. Jojo? Oh, I just like to say that. It may not hurt you, like, physically, like, like, uh, if a bullet is shot at you, and you're, like, getting chased by someone and they shoot at you. It may not kill you here, but it's going to affect you the rest of your life here. You're going to have, like, dreams and, like, like flashbacks, like of a guy chasing you, and it's like, no, and then like, you know, it's always going to affect you. So, so some of you guys want to live more peacefully. You don't want to have all these things to be worrying about. You want that out of your life. Well, peace. If, if it could be. Mackenzie. Um, like, I know someone who got shot with a BB gun. I think BB gun is the most popular gun because I've seen, like, in me, a lot of people, like kids, use the guns. And um, it's not really as heavy and as powerful, so people let them be. And then my aunt got shot in the eye with one, and now she has like a colorful eye and stuff. And she has a what? Like a problem with her eye. Yeah. Uh huh. Steven? Um, there's like this boy's in this boy scout my brother's going to. He said he could throw a pocket knife, shoot rifles. They shouldn't be doing that because. You don't know if, um, like, the, it slips and you shoot somebody. Well, even though Joe's father isn't related to me, I'm still scared because something really bad could happen to him because he's a policeman. Bad people come around. Okay, so we wanted, you know, I, I, 
it kind of takes away from the fun. It's kind of like a math problem. When you have danger and guns and, 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 and things on the street corners, and, and, and I'm just going to say this for you quickly so we can move into a little bit different uh, talk right now, but you're also telling me that the street corners aren't safe, and you're saying there's drugs around, and there's people selling drugs, and there's people with weapons on the street, and I know you've told me before we had this show that you've seen the weapons. There are weapons on the street. Weapons really are abundant. Everybody's agreeing here. Everybody's nodding their head. They see weapons around. And they have to consider one person has firecrackers whizzing by her window. Um, I want to ask you something. Um, does any of you pray? Do you pray, Victor? Tell the truth. I'll tell the truth. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a prayer, so I'm not a person who prays, so, so I, I can say that. Do you pray? Like I do, but I don't. Off and on. Uh huh. When do you find yourself praying? Like, um, like when I'm real scared that something might happen. Like my grandmother just got out of the hospital because she had trouble breathing. Uh huh. I was kind of scared, and I did kind of say a prayer that she got better quick. Uh huh. Uh huh. So you kind of uh, think about it when when there's trouble around, and then you kind of you kind of don't remember it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Mac. When, what about you? I prayed every day um, at assembly in my class. There's not one day that I missed that I didn't pray. And um, I usually play like on um, baseball games and stuff, so I can win. You you pray so you can win baseball games? Yeah. You say a prayer? Mm-hmm. Katie. I pray so I can pass on my math test in school. No kidding. And you, I, when I passed, like, we had B tests for multiplication because we were just learning it. And I passed everyone without failing one because I kept praying. You think that's what did it? Did you study hard too? Yeah. Okay. All right. What do you think if you just prayed and didn't study? Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if you just studied and didn't pray, huh? Gabby, what about you? You know, I pray for my family, my brothers, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and friends. And friends, you do. What do you want for them? To to be good, to have a good help in, in their life and everything. Mhm. Mhm. Stephen. Um, like Max said, my grandmother died from smoking, and like I pray. Because I keep saying to God, keep her by my side, because I love her. She takes good care of me. That's nice. Kendra? When I, sometimes when I go to church, I pray for my family and friends, my teachers. and Well, I pray for them because I hope their life is good. I don't, and sometimes I pray for myself and my family because I say I don't want danger to hit them very closely and like see because I'm so young and I don't want to die young and I don't want my family to die well you know. Yeah, so I guess all of you would agree you get a sense that you could die young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would that yeah. be true? Or yeah. am I just yeah. Yeah. by cars? Yeah. By cars? How could you die by cars? In an accident? Yeah. <coughs> you want something reckless. Yes. By yeah. by what? But like, you mean by what, crossing the street? Yeah, when I'm crossing the street, like on O Street, um, if I cross the street, there's cars moving by, and you can hear them go zoom, zoom, and I'm scared because I don't know. I don't know. There aren't good places to cross. In other words, there's not a lot of people-friendly stuff going on. Nikki. Um, like my brother said, um, my grandmother died about two and a half years ago, and I prayed for her and to keep my family well. I pray for my cousins, my brothers, my sisters, and my, especially my friends, because I don't want my friends getting hurt. And they're like brother and sister and everything to me. Sometimes they bring me joy, sometimes they bring me sadness. And all the things they bring to me, I like. So when if they get hurt, I pray for them sometimes and make them... Do you think it's unusual for people your age to have good connections to each other and feel like brothers and sisters? Is mm-hmm. that unusual? No. No. It's not That's a, happening not a lot. lot. Mm-hmm. Can people your age bond together and make friendships? Like, like in um, the whole world. The whole world's a family. Even it doesn't matter if they're black, white, Chinese, wheelchair, old, fat, skinny.
skinny. Oh. Doesn't matter. Steven? Um, one day I was going up behind the store to get a drink. And then when I was going down the sidewalk, I heard those cars. And then all of a sudden, there was a car coming. And I was like real close to it. And then I finally heard it. And that, my brakes, they didn't work with that day. So I almost got hit by the car. Kendra? Well, in school, I have friends, like my friend Rachel Baker and Taylor Orton. They're, they're, good, they're very good and close friends to me. And like, if I get hurt, they'll help me. If they get hurt, I'll help them. And I just have many friends. Maybe not just one best friend. I have more than one best friend. Because mm -hmm. your heart is big enough to have many, many friends, huh? It can have many friends. Jojo? Um, about, um, the, the prayer stuff, I, I'm the older one, so I really should be setting the influence, but, um, I pray, I go to church every Sunday, and usually I'll pray, like, before meals, but most of the time is when I really pray, it's when, like, I need something, like, one day when I had a lacrosse game, I forgot my shorts, and I got my knees, I said, please, God, let my shorts be on the dock when I get over, and then they weren't there, so I said, see, I'm, I'm trying the only time I'm praying is when I'm asking for something. So I should get out of that and maybe, you know, I'll start getting a wish for that. Yeah, in other words, as, uh, yeah, praying may not be as, uh, as valuable or valid if it's just for when you need something, especially gym shorts. <laughs> or even to pass a multiplication test for that matter. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, so I guess you guys believe in God. Would that be yeah. right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a male God up in the sky? Would that be yeah. right? Or yeah, coming yeah, down believe right. in God. Um, there was God the Father and Jesus Christ who redeemed the world and died on the cross for us. Mm -hmm. Kendra? Well, um, when, before I go to bed, sometimes I pray because I have worry dolls. And I hide them under my pillow. And that sometimes I just get scared when something bad happens. Like the other night, about when we had about the stabbing, I really, I prayed, and I was real scared because I didn't know what would happen to me. Like if something broke in my house, or someone in my family, I would really be sad. But I would just have to live with it. And I know, Victor, you feel there's an awful lot of danger around. You're probably the most feeling of all these people, I think, about it. You've been quiet about it, but I think you're probably worried the most deep down yeah, inside. Like, like, at school, there's, like, a lot of problems, too. Like, Ms. Holman, the dean of discipline at school, she has, like, at least ten suspensions a day. For what? For, for fights. Um illegal uses of like pen kids are sitting there pencil fighting and they can get hurt and <clears throat> poking each other with pens I'll say. throwing stuff across the room. Mm -hmm. There was one time um there was this one kid he was um he was in seventh grade and he was throwing pencils pens at the teacher <clears throat> because he was mad and um it hit her in the head and um, they did, he didn't say what she did. I don't know about that, but he said um, that she talked to his mother, got him suspended for about a week. And um, then um, there was a big fight in the um, principal's office over racial slurs and rumors. Mm -hmm. Is racial things going on in the yeah. school? People talk about it? Yeah, there was, um, like, towards the beginning, like, maybe in November, there was, um, um, a fight between the Asians and blacks. They, they, all the Asians come up talk, walking around saying, saying it was um, the Asian pride because all the blacks were making fun of the Asians, saying that they're trying to be black because they were wearing wide leg pants and, and baggy clothes. They're saying they're trying to be black. And the Asians stood up for themselves and got into a fight. And a lot of my friends got arrested for that. Matt? That's not the one <coughs> I don't think it's right. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. It's not the skin color that counts. It's the way you are inside. I think all people are the same. <coughs> you may dress different, have different color, have different kind of hair. You still, you're the same person inside. 
Do you think you can answer that question too and consider do you think that the persons that are getting more into the fights might not have parents at home that are really worrying about them and watching what they're doing? Gabby, what were you going to say? Oh yeah, he, right here we have, we, we are from different nationalities and everything, but we like each other like friends and everything. Mm -hmm. And we get along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the reason for that? Because we like each other like friends and mm -hmm. we even care about each other. Mm -hmm. Do you think maybe you have parents at home that watch what you're doing and sort of give, put you on the right path a little bit? Yep. Mm -hmm. Kendra? Well, her, um, racial people, I, my friend Javina, um, she found something on the cabinet in my coat room at school and it said white people stink and whoever reads this better be black. But I was real scared, I was real sad because <coughs> we're over racial stuff. Martin Luther King Jr. explained that before he got shot. I, and it was probably a white person who shot him. But there's no reason to not like white people or colored people because <coughs> we're all friends inside. Maybe I'll tell me. First of all, I'd home. like to take this shoulder dedicated to my grandfather because on racial stuff he's helped me through that a lot because he's not my type of skin color he's darker than me but I don't call him black I call him um, not colored but I just call him what he is my grandfather and he just told me that in school I, sh I, should, I shouldn't be talking about racial relations which I don't and some people in my in my class and in other grades talk about white people like saying they stink. Um, white people can go home and cry to their mothers, but black people don't do that. They're saying like how they're different. How like black people can draw better than white <coughs> stuff like that. Jojo. Um. Well, it's kind of odd because where I come from, I'm Irish, Max Pot Italian, and um, where we're from, we're supposed to, Italians and Irish people are supposed to hate each other. But I, I, we kind of threw that rule aside, smashed it in half, because we're best friends. And also, I don't know which camera to look into, but kids who are watching this show, I may be white, you may be Hispanic, you may be darker than I am. Peel our skins off, what are we underneath? We're the same exact thing. All right, so I just want to say that to anybody who's watching this. If people make it fun of you because you're racial or like because you're a different nationality, just say, well, what would you do if we all got our skins peeled off? We look exactly the same. So, that's Steven? Um, like at school, my friend called me all black because just because I was born in Dominican Republic, he called me black and I said, knock it off because if I'm black and you're black, it's really doesn't matter. If she's white, that's the way they are. It ain't a problem. It's their problem. Mackenzie? I just want to thank my, my father, Walter, and my mother, Teresa, because um, when I was little, she taught me that it didn't count inside. <coughs> I mean, it didn't count outside the way your skin looked like. And all, every single year, I've never said anything racial to other people. I like black people, I like Asian people, and I don't get upset when, I don't really, I get mad when they call me things, but I don't say anything back, I just ignore them and go away, and I just want to thank my mother and father because they're the ones who taught me all that. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you guys have mothers and fathers that are kind of watching out for what's going on with you, but you certainly still have some difficult times, and I'm going to get to you, Kendra, in one second. How about the idea of people who have an axe to grind, so to speak, and they're saying these things because they feel a lot of anger inside. What do you think about that? When they look back at what they consider to be the history, and, they, and, they, and, it, and, it, and it eats away at them, and it makes them mad, and, and they're living uh, in a time and a culture that's telling them they should be mad. What do you think about that, Kendra? I think that people that, um, people like me might call them, hey, you're black. I don't like black people. They might say you're white trash, but 
that really hurts me because I know I'm white and I'm proud of being white. People are um, colored and they're proud of being colored. But I have, I'm not, ra I'm not a racist because I have many black friends like my friend Jamina, Alicia, and some other kids. And they're really good friends. And there's, there's nothing I can do about it. Well, no, you can't do much about the way you're born. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, maybe with genetics we're going to start doing that, but you are what you are, aren't you? Nikki? Um, some people, because of racial problems, people that are black, sometimes people make fun of them. Like, oh, you're black, and sometimes people feel like Michael Jackson because they want to bleach themselves sometimes for white, and so they don't... St so they don't get picked on and get called names. Jojo? Um, I'm proud to be Irish. Just like Max, proud to be Italian. You know, all of us, we should be proud of who we are. Uh, and if we, if we would mainly focus on proud being who we are, what we are, what we're all about, then there wouldn't be racial things. But to some degree, we're a little bit hung up yeah. on who we are, which is the cause of the conflict, oh, too, yeah. when each yeah. group is very proud of who they are, then they can't, you know, they can't accept the next group because theirs is the good group, you know, so that's, that's, you can also, but it comes from a lot of hurt. Being, being so very proud comes from a lot of oppression. Katie? Like, people who get called names because of their color, it does, if they get, like, really mad, they don't have to go after people. They can just talk it over. I mean, they don't have to call people, like, white trash or stuff like that. They, they shouldn't, it doesn't matter how, what color they are. It really doesn't. Yeah. So is that how people are talking in the schools to each other a lot? Well, not really in my school. Either. Not in your school. Gabby? God gave you this, the color skin you, you got. You have to stick with it and be proud of it. Exactly. Hopefully it would be a non-issue. I mean, hopefully. We wouldn't think about it at all. Mac? Um, in my and Joseph, there's a lot of black and white kids and all different kinds of national, but I haven't heard one racial slur or anything yet. Yeah, and we have three, stuff. we have four days of the school. I don't think we're here. Victor? Like, at school, like, all over the bathroom walls, like, white people say, right, niggas die, and blacks write white trash stuff, <coughs> and things, like, revolutions between <coughs> gangs stop because of rumors. Someone says, so-and-so said that, and then they all start coming up, racial slurs, racial fights, over something that wasn't true. Like, like um, my, this kid in my class, Odessin, he, um, he got his hat taken off from Mr. Sullivan, so he, he went off, he started, saying, he started saying stuff, racial, and got her upset because of that. And he got suspended, I, I think he got suspended for that. And he, he shouldn't have said that. That really hurt her. Like, she, she might be, like, grouchy to some of us, but there was no need for him to say that to her. Nikki. Um, this group right here, and yeah. some other people, this whole group may be Italian, black, white. Like, for example, some people make fun of his color, and I know how he feels because I'm almost his color, and... I just like to say that this group is all like one big family because they stick together. They don't do <coughs> racial slurs. And even if we get into fights, we're all one big family inside. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's really not nice to make fun of somebody's color. Kendra? There is this girl at the beginning of the year. She started trouble with me. Her name was Kivia. It's Kivia. And like, Two months ago, she made fun of me, called me white trash, trash. Started making fun of my color. Just because she's colored doesn't mean I have to be colored. I can respect my color. I'm white, and I'm proud of that. She can respect her color. She's colored, and she can respect that. But she doesn't have to be mean, saying, oh, I want you colored. You can't be white. I don't like white. I, I agree. Jojo? Um, well, I've kind of picture our, our group this way. Um, you, you take a blender and you put fruit in and you blend it and then the outcome you can either get really good drink or really bad drink. 
we're like a, a mixture of fruit, of different kinds of fruit. And we get, you know, we, we got put in a blender like two, three years ago and we all met up together. And then I guess this is a result of a good fruit drink. You know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 All right. We're going to start winding down here now. I know uh, before we started the show, it's been very hot and you've been very patient. Wonderful group here, very patient. We're uh, 96 degrees in the shade here in the studio today. The air conditioning is not working. So, uh, before the show started, I know some of you were singing songs of your heroes. Maybe we're going to go out on a song. No. Wait a minute now. We're going to go out on a song. And uh, the guys like in sync. Some of the guys, but the girls like, who do you like, girls? Backstreet Boys. All right. So, let's go. Backstreet Boys. We need to go back to the boys. All right. No, that's true. Why Why are the audiences of the Backstreet Boys all girls screaming? I know. They're cute. 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 Well, what do you yeah, want? That's what girls what do you do want the boys to do for you, girls? How do you want the boys to be? Gabby. Ricky Martin over TMX. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I want something. A Ricky Martin song. Yeah. My all my, my brothers and my friends, especially him. Yeah. They they say the song that I, I don't like a part when they they say she took my heart and took my money. Yeah. See? Yeah. She took my hat and took my money. Dun, 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 dun. I don't like that song myself, let's but I, I'd like to do the backstreet, but let's get it off to a really good, let's do it right. Let's figure out where we're stop. I'm going to stop. Let everybody want to stop. Watch Ricky Martin. But no, no, we're doing backstreet. Oh, doing backstreet. Yeah, but let's start it right. What, Which song? Know. Where are we going to start Turn it from? That's in sync. Right in the beginning. In the beginning? Okay. Keep one, playing games with two. Two. Which right one? Right loud. Which one? Which one? Which one? Backstreet Boys. You are. You are my fight. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, here we go. One. Just sing it nice and loud. You are my fire, the one desire to love the city on its bad way. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why ain't nothing but a Do you 